in this video we are going to be learning how to install the latest version of Kali Linux completely from scratch on your PC. So let's get started. I will first open my browser and go to google.com and search for VirtualBox and press enter. Click on the first link which says Oracle VM VirtualBox. VirtualBox.org is the official URL. When you are on this page, scroll down and click on the big blue icon which says download VirtualBox 7.0. When you're on this page, click on Windows Hosts and your installer will get downloaded. Wait for the download to get complete. After the download is completed, I will open the folder that my file got downloaded on. I can confirm this is the file that just got downloaded. I will click on the file two times and my installer has started. I will first click on next. You can change the location of the installation path if you want. I will not do that for now. I will keep it as default and click on next. Proceed with the installation now. Yes. Proceed with the installation now for missing dependencies. Yes. And finally click on install. And our virtual box is installed. I will uncheck this box because I do not want to start my virtual box now and click on finish. And after the installation of the virtual box has been completed, if I go back to the desktop, I can see this is the icon of the virtual box. Now before starting it, I will download Kali Linux. So I will open my browser one more time and go to google.com and type kali.org and press enter. Click on the first link. Kali.org is the official URL. When you're on this page, click on download. And you will have two options. I will select installer images and scroll down. At the time of recording, the version of Kali Linux is 2024.1. So I will select 64 bit and click on this button to download the image. This is around 4 GB of file. So wait for the download to get finished. After the download is finished, I will open the folder that my file got downloaded on. I can confirm the ISO image got downloaded into the downloads folder. Next, I will go back to my desktop and start your Oracle VM virtual box by clicking on it twice. Since I reinstalled my virtual box, that's why you can see some other virtual machine, but for you it will be completely empty. After your virtual box starts, click on the new icon. Here, give a name to your Kali Linux virtual machine. I will keep it as simple and just call it Kali Linux 2024. For the folder, the default folder is fine for me. For the ISO image, I will select my ISO image by clicking on the down icon here and selecting other. I know that my ISO image got downloaded into the downloads folder, so I'll select the downloads folder. And as you can see, this is the ISO image, so I'll select this and click on open and then click on next here for the base memory you can allocate according to your own will but 2gb is minimum i will allocate 4gb make sure you stay on the green for processor one cpu is minimum but i will allocate two cpu for better performance and then click on next now make sure create a virtual hard disk now is selected and allocate a disk size 25gb is default but i will select 58gb and then click on next and now we are all done click on finish and now i have the kali linux virtual machine in my virtual box now before starting and installing it, if you want to change some settings, then click on the Kali Linux virtual machine to select it and then click on settings. Here you have the option to change the settings according to your own will. I will not change any setting, I will keep everything as default except display. So I'll select display and change the video memory from 16 MB to 128 MB and click on OK to save the changes. Now keeping the Kali Linux virtual machine selected, I will click on start and now the installation process has started. And now you have few different options. Keep graphical install selected and press enter. For the language, I will keep English selected and click on continue. Location United States is fine for me. Then I'll click on continue. For the keyboard layout, the American English is also fine for me. So I'll click on continue. For the host name, you can change it if you want, but I will not do that for now. I'll keep it as default, which is Kelly and then click on continue. Domain name is also fine. I'll not give anything and click on continue. I will give the name of my user which is Farhan and click on continue. The username for your account, Farhan is fine with me, so I'll click on continue. I'll choose a password for my machine and I will reconfirm the password by typing again and click on continue. The clock configuration Eastern is fine for me, I'll click on continue. For the disk partition, I will select guided use entire disk and click on continue. So this partition is fine with me and it is also pre-selected, so keep it like this and click on continue. Select all files in one partition recommended for new users and click on continue. And then I will finish partitioning and write changes to the disk and click on continue. Write the changes to the disk. Select yes and click on continue. Now wait for a few minutes. I will fast forward this part of the video. For the software selection, the default is fine. So I'll not do anything and click on continue. Now install the grub bootloader. Select yes and then click on continue. Select the partition and then click on continue. And now our installation is done. Click on continue to reboot. Select Kali GNU Linux. And now log in with your username that you just set, which was Farhan for me, and give the password. If you want it to be full screen, then click on view 
and click on full screen click on switch and your Kali Linux will be on full screen so this is how you install Kali Linux on Windows VirtualBox that is for the end of the video if you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching